We've wrapped up most major phone announcements for the first half of the year, with Samsung's Galaxy S6, HTC One M9, Huawei IP8, LG G4 and Xperia Z4 leading the charge. Now let's see what we got second half in 2015. 1. Samsung Galaxy Note 5. With an eventual 4K display or not, one can rest assured that the Note 5 will be stuffed to the gills with the latest in processor, display, memory, and camera technologies, while, judging from the Galaxy S6, Samsung's Fabolt design might introduce a dual-edge screen version and undergo a drastic change for the premium, too. 2. Apple iPhone SIXS and SIXS Plus this year's intermittent upgrade of the iPhone line is expected to be the richest ever. The iPhone SIXS, iPhone 7, or whatever Apple decides to name it, is set to ship with a force touch display, higher resolution camera, 10MP or even 12MP, and a new rose gold color option to choose from, in addition to the processor upgrade with the Apple A9, and an eventual doubled RAM amount. 3. Sony Xperia Z5 Just because Sony unleashed an upgraded Xperia Z3 version with a Snapdragon 810 chipset not long ago, and dubbed it Z4 in Japan, doesn't mean that it is not hard at work on a true Z3 sequel with, say, a brand new metal design paradigm, finger scanner in the power key, and optical image stabilization for the camera. Here's to hoping, and... Sony's six months upgrade cycle willing, we should see a Z5 land sometime around the end of October. For Xiaomi Mi5, we would allegedly have a bezel less Mi4s announced next month, swapping the Snapdragon 801 of the Mi4 with a Snapdragon 810 chipset, and adding optical image stabilization to the 13MP camera on the back. The Mi4s is supposed to keep you warm for the Mi5, which would apparently show up in time for the holiday shopping craze, or when Qualcomm is ready to mass-produce its upcoming Snapdragon 820 chipset. The rumors for a 5.2 Quad HD display are seemingly spot-on, and a 20MP camera might make a cameo, too. 5. Huawei i Mate 8 Last year, we were sent Huawei Eye's phone portfolio for 2015, and so far it has been spot on. The P8 already got announced, but it also includes some pretty intriguing handsets, like the Mate 8 successor to the MATE 7. The 6 inch screen on the Mate 8 will get bumped to a 1440x2560 resolution and Huawei Eye is said to employ the 64-bit Kirin 930 SoC with an octa-core CPU. The 20.7MP rear snapper should use Sony's IMX220 sensor, and there will be a fingerprint scanner on the device. The phone will support 4G LTE Cat.6, 300 Mbps. With a 2K resolution display this time, and a new Kirin 930 chipset, the Mate 8 should appear in the fall for about $650. 6. Huawei i 8 The Huawei i Mate 8 Fabolt is not the only rumored Quad HD horse in the company's stable, as a Huawei i 8 purportedly with a 5.5 screen diagonal, leaked in a Huawei i roadmap not long ago. This one should be the company's absolute flagship this year, as it also features a yet unannounced 64-bit Kirin 950 processor, 4 GB of RAM, and 64 GB of internal storage. Given that Kirin 950 is expected for the last quarter, the D8 should be released thereabouts, in time to battle with the iPhone SIXS Plus, and the Note 5. The price tag for this one was last listed to be 4,999 yuan, or about $800, pretty steep. 7. Apo Find 9 Apo's next flagship model Find 9 is rumored to feature a Snapdragon 810 chipset, and include 4GB of RAM inside. 
One thing that stands out in alleged leaked images of the phone, besides the animal skin prints, is the dual camera on the back. Apo is no stranger to weird camera setups, as it even has a rotating model on the N3, so a dual camera is not out of the question, considering that we already have two phones with such a combo, the One M8, and the Honor 6 Plus. 8 Google Nexus by Huawei We saved the crest for last. Google reportedly has tasked yet another different phone maker with making this year's Nexus handset, and that could be none other than Huawei. Now, whether this new Nexus will be an offshoot of the crazy D8 with a quad HD screen, remains to be seen, but if the rumors for a 4GB RAM Nexus materialize, it might very well be. Google's added value here, besides the new Android 6.0M, is using this year's Nexus as a testing ground for the new USB Type-C omnidirectional connector.